All right then, gang. So we now have our use sign up hook and our use logout hook. The only thing left to do is create our use login hook. So let's do that. Use login .js. All right. Now this hook is going to look very, very similar to the use sign up one. We're going to have all the same kind of state. We need the dispatch function as well. We're also going to have a function. It's going to be called login this time, not sign up, but that's going to do the same state changes. We're going to send this request right here, which is also going to be post. We're going to send the same body, the email and password to login. This endpoint's going to be different. That will be login. But then we're going to get the JSON back. We're going to check the response is okay. And if it's not, update the errors. And if it is okay, then we're going to do all of this as well. We're going to save the token and the user email to local storage. And we're going to dispatch a login action and then set loading, uh, set is loading to be false. So all of this is pretty much the same, all this logic. So what I'm going to do is copy that and paste it over here just to, you know, save time. So we need to use both of these. These are all the same. This we will change to login. We still need the email and password. This is the same. This needs to be changed to login, the endpoints. This is all the same and this is the same. This is exactly the same. And this is exactly the same. We still want to save that token to local storage. And this is exactly the same. We still want to dispatch a login event. When we sign up, we dispatch that um, action, login action, because we automatically log in when we sign up. And down here, we're logging in. So it's the same action we need to dispatch. And the payload is that response object, which contains the token and also the email property. And we set is loading to false. Finally, we just want to return right here login instead of sign up. So this function right here. We also need to change the name of this hook to use login as well. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. So now we can use this hook inside the login form. So let's open up that login page over here. So then first of all, at the top, we need to import the use login hook. So let's say import use login. And that is going to be from and it's dot dot come out of the pages folder into the hooks folder. And then we want the use login hook. And we can also invoke that down here to grab those things we need. So const and we want the login function. Also the error if there is one and the is loading property as well. And we set that equal to use login like so. Awesome. So we have those things. Now we actually want to log in down here instead of logging to the console. So let's just say await login like so and that's all we need to do so now we're logging in using the email and password now depending on the result of this we have either true or false for is loading when it is loading and also an error if we have one as well so now let's come down here to the bottom and output the error if there is one so we'll say error double ampersand and div and this div is going to have a class name equal to error to style it and then out here we'll output the error OK, so now if we have an error, it shows it at the bottom of the form. Now, also, we want to set disabled right here to be equal to is loading so that while something's going on, while something is loading, we can't press it again. So disabled is equal to is loading. And that's pretty much it, my friends. All done. So now let's try this in a browser. All right. So currently we are logged out and we can see that because there's no value over here for the user. There's no token. So in the console as well, the user is null. So let's sign up. Let's try Mario at netninja.dev. Now, I'm not sure these users exist because I forgot which ones I've created and which ones I've not. So let's try this. ABC upper, ABC lower, one, two, three, exclamation mark. Sign up. Okay, no, email already in use. All right, we're trying to sign up there. Let's try and log in with that. Mario at netninja.dev. And then ABC, ABC, one, two, three exclamation mark and now we can see we get a user so we're logged in right here and the token is stored in the global state as well and if we go to application we can see that there as well let's try logging out again yep that goes and over here the user is null again so now this is all working we now have a sign up form which is working 
a login form which is working and we can also log out as well by clicking this button the only problem is this let me log in again and we can see now we have this user over here so the state is recognizing that we have a user logged in and also our local storage recognizes that as well because we have this token over here so we're logged in what if we refresh the page check this out well in the console the user is null so react the application thinks we're not logged in however in local storage we still have that user property with the token so technically we are logged in but it's just that our react application doesn't see us as logged in because this state is null so what we'd like to do is when the application first starts we want to figure out do we have this token in local storage because if we do what we'll do is we'll just grab this object right here the, with the email property and the token and we can just update the auth state to be that so we can do that check when the application first loads and we'll see how to do that next